Hello, today we are going to continue talking about habitats and biodiversity. So a quick rem reminder, habitats are places where plants and animals live. They provide food, protection, and a place to raise their young. And biodiversity is the measurement of the number of different plants and animals that live in an area. So in this video, we will look at tropical rainforests, temperate forests, and mountains. So let's start with tropical rainforests. So here are some facts about tropical rainforests. These are warm habitats that have lots of rain. The reason for this is because most tropical rainforests are located near the equator. The trees here grow very tall. For example, the kapok tree can grow to be 200 feet. More than half the world's animals live in the rainforest. There are rainforests in Africa, Asia, Australia, and South America. The biggest rainforest is the Amazon rainforest. The rainforest is interesting because it is divided into four layers and each layer is actually very different from the next. Let's start with the forest floor. Down here, there's not much sunlight. So not many plants grow here except for maybe very, very small grasses and um, maybe a, some little bushes. But there are large animals that you might find here like jaguars, anteaters, and green anaconda snakes, as well as, as some amphibians like frogs. Next is the understory layer. Um, there's small trees here, there might be some bushes. Um, plants here tend to have large flat leaves that capture the very little sunlight that gets down here. Some animals you might find here are boa constrictors, butterflies, and jaguars might be climbing in the trees. Next, we have the canopy layer. And in the rainforest, this is actually where you would find most of the animals. 99% of sunlight reaches here, and there are vines growing around the trees which help create walkways. You could find monkeys, tree frogs, sloths, toucans, iguanas, and much more. And the very top layer is called the emergent layer. This is over 100 feet from the ground and only the very tallest trees break through up here. It's not a very suitable habitat for most animals and it can be very hot and not provide much shelter. You might find some birds flying around up here like the harpy eagles or scarlet macaws. So here's a map to show you where you might find rainforests of the world. So like I said, most of them are located near the equator, which would run through the center from left to right on this map. Um, the dark green areas is where you would find the tropical rainforest. South America has lots of this, Africa has some, and Asia and even Australia has a little bit. We don't have tropical rainforest in North America. Here are some plants and animals that you might find in the Amazon rainforest. But like I said, since the rainforest is divided into layers, different animals live in different layers. But we have a morpho butterfly, a capybara, jaguar, monkeys, poison dart frog. Um, that tree is what the kapuk tree looks like. And um, in the top right is what a cacao tree looks like, which is the type of tree that grows cocoa plants, which people use to make chocolate. Now let's talk about temperate forests. So temperate forests are neither extremely hot or extremely cold, and they actually have four seasons. They get enough rain for the trees to grow big, just not as big as the trees in the rainforest. But some of these trees can grow to be 100 feet tall. There are two types, and we will talk more about them in a minute, but they are called deciduous and coniferous. And temperate forests can be found in North America, Asia, and Europe. And because there are four seasons and the weather changes, animals have, have to adapt to this environment. For example, squirrels and chipmunks gather and store nuts in the fall, which they can then eat in the colder months. Bobcats, brown bears, and timber wolves grow thick coats to keep warm in the winter. And birds and butterflies fly to warmer climates in the winter and return in the spring. Like I mentioned, there are two types. So there are deciduous and coniferous. In a deciduous forest, the trees have wide and flat leaves that absorb sunlight during the summer. And then in the fall, these leaves become dry, change color, and fall off the trees. Some, um, the names of some of these trees are oaks, elms, and ash trees. And then in the coniferous forest, these 
have trees that have needles. And trees with needles and cones are called conifers, which is why the forest is called coniferous. These types of trees stay green all year long, and sometimes we call them evergreen trees. Some other names of these trees are pines, firs, and spruce. Here's a map to show you where to find temperate forests of the world. Look at the green areas. So there's some in North America, Europe, Asia, and a little bit on Australia, South America, and Africa. Here are some animals of the temperate forest. There's squirrels, bobcats, brown bears, black bears, timber wolves, and moose. Next, let's talk about mountains. So you can find mountains on every continent. And mountains are interesting because there are different types of habitats on a mountain depending how low or how high you go. Um, the longest above ground mountain range is the Andes, which you can find in South America. And the mountain range with the highest peak is the Himalayas, and we call that highest peak Mount Everest. And we can find this in Asia. And like I said, the farther up a mountain, the colder it gets. So at the very top, you might find snow, but at the very bottom, you might find more of a temperate forest type of climate. And the air gets thinner as you go to the top, so it becomes difficult to breathe. And so mountains have very extreme climates, so animals have to be able to adapt to these climates. So since a mountain can be so different from the bottom to the top, it is split into three main layers. So the montane layer is, is the warmest layer. There's a lot of plants and a lot of animals that live here. Um, it, it's very, it's a, there's a lot of forests and trees that grow here. And usually it is more like a temperate forest at the bottom of a mountain. Then you keep going up and we have the subalpine zone next. So it's very similar to the montane zone, except there might be a little bit less trees, a little bit less animals that live here because it's getting colder. And at the very top is called the alpine zone. And this is very snowy. Um, not a lot of plants can grow here and not a lot of animals go up here to live. Um, it's not really an ideal habitat for animals. Here are the mountain ranges of the world. So we have the Rocky Mountains and the Appalachian Mountains in North America. Uh, like I said, the Andes are in South America, the Alps you can find in Europe, the Himalayas you can find in Asia, and the Great Dividing Range is in Australia. Here's a picture of the Himalaya Mountains in Asia, and this picture can really show you how the very bottom of the mountain is so different than the very top. At the bottom you can see lots of grass, you can see some flowers, but as you get higher up, you can tell that it's getting snowier and it looks colder. We are going to focus on talking about plants and animals that live in this mountain range, the Himalayas. So here are some pictures. Um, we have a snow leopard, a red panda, a Bengal tiger. This monkey is called a golden langur. Um, and some types of trees that live here are fir trees and different types of conifer trees, and these flowers are called bistorta. Well, I hope you learned a little bit more about tropical rainforest, um, temperate forest, and mountains.